The latest in WOC and ET nursing. We'll hear from practitioners presenting the newest research here in Texas. How a team of nurses at a teaching hospital became skin champions in the fight against skin injuries. And a hands-on workshop to help attendees address clinical challenges in ostomy care. That's coming up now on WOC Next TV. I'm Chris Turner coming to you from a loaded day two of WOC Next 2022. There is no better place to be right now to learn the latest in wound ostomy and continence care than here at the Fort Worth Convention Center. The doors opened early Monday morning with several education sessions, one of the first discussing what's in store for the future of WOC nursing and what's been discovered in recent clinical trials and studies. Clinical investigators took to the stage to reveal their findings and help attendees stay in touch with the latest in this field. Members were itching to hear about an algorithmic approach to evaluating, diagnosing, and treating skin eruptions. The Rash Decisions session gave attendees some tips and examples of how to apply this algorithm to real-world scenarios. Learning how, the, how they can go about with their examination skills to help to figure out either next steps or what they need to do um, so that they, that they feel empowered, that they can actually evaluate a rash and come up with a game plan on what to do next. Four members of a teaching hospital here in the Dallas area have become skin champions. Nurses at Parkland Health and Hospital System explained how they created algorithms and protocols to best identify, prevent, and treat skin injuries. Creating a system that we have in place at Parkland that has skin champions, preventionists for wound care, as well as the treatment team was really a, a different thing that we hadn't heard other people talk about. And so we wanted to come and say if we can do it, you can do it. We wanted to empower the bedside nurses, and I know we're in a post-COVID time, and everyone's kind of struggling for a lot of leaders and a lot of nurses, and so um, just empower the bedside nurses and providing a, um, tools for them that could be utilized and not wait for a specialty nurse to arrive. An opportunity for attendees to get hands-on experience in a workshop dedicated to addressing clinical challenges that ostomy patients face. Members got together in small groups to come up with a plan of care to address different challenges presented to them in this interactive session. Every 20 seconds somewhere in the world, someone loses a leg due to the complications of diabetes. The goal of the International Working Group on the Diabetic Foot is to produce strategies for the prevention and management of diabetic foot disease. This session reviewed the latest IWGDF guidelines and how to apply them in practical ways. Thank you so much for watching WOC Next TV. I'm Chris Turner. Before we go, we're through two full days of WOC Next 2022 and people are still buzzing about being reunited here in Fort Worth. Take a listen. The main thing is being in person and being able to network with the people that you haven't been able to see in person in two years, so that's been great. I was excited about the, um, the rash disruptions because as wound care nurses, you know, sometimes we get the dermatology aspect, so it was nice to be able to put that together and learn a little bit about the other side of the dermatology portion. Just the whole thing and being around all of these amazing WOCNs and all their research and some of them have taken me under their wings, so just lots of nice things. Dickens has been around since World War I, but as the only commercial provider, we've developed a safer and buffered formula. Wound care nurses love our wound cleansers because they are non-cytotoxic, have a two-year shelf life even after opening the bottle, and are incredibly effective. They are also two to four times cheaper than competing products, easing the burden on patients. We offer four strengths from 0.5% to 0.0125%. This allows a stepwise approach to wound staging and treatment. You can order Dakins through your medical supplier on Amazon or over the counter by request at any pharmacy.